Got questions about your books? Let's ask the HPB Buy Guy. Hey there, Steve Leach, HPB Buy Guy here, hoping to help you maintain the care of your special book collection. I'm guessing you've got books you enjoy reading but don't care about keeping. And then there are other books that are special to you, with either sentimental or monetary value, or ideally both. There are some basic things you can do for the books you treasure, to keep them nice, to preserve the value they have. Books are pretty solid and sturdy, but they're made of materials that degrade over time and react to the elements. So here are some simple precautions to help protect them. First, keep the books out of direct sunlight. Sunlight will cause the colors of the book's dust jacket to fade and cause the pages to brown. Put your dust jackets in protective dust jacket covers. Dust jackets protect and improve the look of books and are often a big part of the value. And dust jacket covers protect value of the dust jacket. Use bookmarks. We give them away at Half Price Books. Don't fold the pages down. Don't leave the book open and upside down. And don't mark your place with your keys or your sunglasses. And you also want to keep your books dry. Some climates make that easier to do than others, but you want to control the temperature, limit the heat and humidity in the spaces where you keep your books. Dampness can produce mold, and that's a book problem that pretty much can't be cured. Exposure to water will also ripple the pages and deform the book. Don't write your name or anything else in your special books. If you have to use book plates, use nice, custom-made ones. If you loan your books, only give them to people who will care about them as much as you do. Bookshelves sometimes harbor bugs, and some bugs like to eat books. Others leave their marks. So keep bugs away from your books. Use a feather duster to occasionally get the dust off of them and spray behind the shelves to discourage those insects. Cats, they have a habit of leaving their mark on books too, and it's hard to get rid of this kind of damage. You may be able to deodorize cat or tobacco fouled books by putting them in an airtight container with a neutral air freshener for a day or two. There's no guarantee, but it should make it better. <laughs> and kids, well, yours may be little darlings, but you still want to keep them and their free spirits away from the books you want to preserve. It's great if you read with passion and abandon, but handle those treasured books you want to hang on to forever with care. Fine books should always be handled carefully, with clean, dry hands. Keep food away from your books, especially Cheetos, chili, that kind of thing. If you have to store your books in a garage or attic, be aware of the heat and store them in airtight, acid-free containers. Ideally, your books will be stored upright on your shelves. You want to be able to see them, maybe even read them occasionally. And don't lay other books on top of them because you could bend or break the covers. Now, if your shelves are getting too crowded, clear some space and bring the extras to half-price books. We can find a place for them. We love to see well-cared-for treasures come into our store's buy areas. We're standing by ready to pass them along to the next book lover. So if you run out of love or room for your books, bring them on by HPB. Now, what's the best way to sort through your collection of books? Well, that's a topic for another video. This is the Buy Guy saying, adios. If you've got a question for the HPB Buy Guy, email buyguy at hpb.com.